one year ago. Mia Hammond, then 15, Monday qualified for the Dana Open with her dad, Tom, on the bag, and she finished tied for 26th. Now, she may not have showed it, but she later described that experience as overwhelming. Well, one year later, Mia is back in Sylvania and knows exactly what to expect from the LPGA now. It's just life as a 16-year-old that is overwhelming. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. <laughs> um, I know June 15th, um, it's pretty much when everyone reaches out. And so, you know, text and email started at midnight. So it's just, it's, uh, it's interesting to see, you know, what's out there, what's available for me. What's available to Hammond seems like the whole world. A winner of more than 60 amateur tournaments and state champion by seven strokes, the new Albany native is a consensus top recruit in the class of 2026. But if the world ahead of her feels like it's weighing on her shoulders, it's lessons learned at Highland Meadows that spur her on. It definitely taught me how to calm my nerves. Um, I know the first, first tee shot last year I was visibly shaking. So. <laughs> I think it's just how to handle it and kind of pull myself back from that moment and just take it in. I, instead of worrying about what's in front of me, worry about what's around me and who's out there supporting. Because, you know, I might not get many experiences like this, and I want to make sure that I'm taking advantage of the time I do have out here. Hammond is the only am to qualify and make the cut in the tournament's first 39 years. Wherever she is and whoever she is playing against, her play and the pros have shown she belongs. Someone that's really helped me over the years is Tammy Green. A while ago, she won a major and lives close to our old hometown. She's been super supportive to me and my family. I try to play golf with her once or twice a year. Um, and then recently, for actually the Dana Media Day, I met Stacey Lewis. And every time I've seen her, she's been super happy to see us, super welcoming, and she's had a lot of really good advice. The best advice is to soak all this in with 20 friends and close family in attendance, all part of a sweet 16 like no other. I mean, everyone out here is so dedicated and a lot of them have been doing it for many years and just to know that the work they put in eventually helped them achieve where they're at now. So to know what I need to do to get my game and myself to that next level is super important.